So good day, viewers out there. This is Edwin Stitches. You are welcome to my channel. Um, today, we are going to be looking at um, how to sew a root trouser with an elastic or uh, with a band. So, cut together band. So, the trouser has already been cut. So, I'm going to drop uh, the link in the comment section. If um, you have not watched uh, how to cut the uh, roof trouser, so today uh, we're looking at um, how to sew it. So I have uh, my pocket already. The, pot, the pocket has already been cut too. So um, the measurement for my pocket is just uh, 14 by 14. You can use 14 by 14 or 13 by 13, depending on the size of the person. But uh, because this person is fat. So we use 14 by 14, 14 by 14. So we have a 14 by 14 by this. So for you, it was on foot, on foot. So and then we cut, then we only cut this piece so that then this one will serve as the lower part of the cover. So now we'll be fixing this and pocket to the um, front panel of the trouser. So let's go to the chest now. So I have uh, my front panel is here. My front panel of the trouser is here. So this is the right side of the fabric and uh, the right side of the pocket. So we are going to place right side against the right side, right side on the right side. So this place has already been notched. Here we are going to fix our pockets it has already been notched. So now on the pockets, we are going to come down by one and a half inch from the up here, one and a half inch, one and a half inch. Then we are going to notch by half. That is the same way we notch in the our main fabric so half so then we are going to put uh, this one on this same notch then we sew to this uh, point or you can as well uh, notch this piece too by the same uh, measurement half so don't forget that we'll be sewing by half we'll be sewing by half so this is what we have now we can also from here So we so saw then if we have enough time you can iron it, open it and iron. You can open this piece and iron. But then we are still going to top stitch it. So we are going to do everything when we are done. Just use your hands to open it so that the front side will be very neat. So yes. So the next thing is just to fold this. Fold your pocket inward and top stitch. You hold this and then this side. You bring them out. Then you top stitch. You top stitch on the main fabric, not on the pocket now, on the main fabric. Top stitch by cutter. Make sure you leave them everything immediately. So, 
we have done that we have top stitch so the next thing is just to pull the so this is what we have now this is what we have then you will fold your pockets inward you can see we are seeing the right side outside now so we are going to sew the right side let it be tied here let it be tied here so we are going to sew this So you will sew it to one inch below this uh, notch point. One inch below the notch point. One inch below the notch point. As in one inch below the notch point. You know, at first, this place was notched. So, we are now going to notch the other side. Where you stop sewing. So, you are going to notch the other side. Where you stop sewing. Notch this side. Then, you will now turn it. You will turn it to the rough side now. Turn it. So when you turn it, then you now top stitch. You top stitch. So you will stop at where you notch, at the exact point where you notch, that is where you are going to stop your swing, at the exact point where you notch, that is where you are going to stop your swing, then you flip this open now, turn it to the front side now. So this is all we have. And the next thing is just to stitch this piece and then you stitch in this piece. So why stitching? Make sure you start from the lower part here and the down part here. That is where you don't start from here. You start stitching here. You start your first stitches here. So we have done that. Done. So we are going to stitch this place too. So done. We are done with the first part of the trouser now, you can see. This is what we have. And see so we have our trouser, we have our pocket already. So then we repeat the same process for the other side. For the other side. But you have to take note of something. You know, when we are doing this, it was like this. Normal position. That is how it's so if you want to sew the other one, it should be upside down. You know, it is left and right. So the moment it is not upside down, you should know that they probably you have made a mistake. So you have to cross check. So let's check. Let's see now. So here is the rough side of the fabric. The rough side of the fabric is here. 
so you can see this place is the right side and it is going to be right against right you can see this one is facing this side now not like um, the first one we did so we have to be very careful of that the moment um, you score that uh, the first one is facing the second part where you started then you should know that uh, um, there is an issue here so we said that uh, we are going to notch um, this place by one and half one and half from has been notched already so the notch the other side that has not been notched by half then we turn it to the other side So we have this. So you can see we have this one now. So the next thing is now, now to join the back panel to it. Join the back panel to the front end panel, to each of the front end panel. So. So it is going to be right side against the right side. Right side on the right side. So here is the rough side, right side. So it is going to be right side on right side. So you place it. So I'll be starting from the down parts. I'll be starting from the down parts here. I'll be starting from the down part here. But make sure you check if um, this thing attracted, actually attracted. So um, make sure you check and um, this thing is a uh, talus. That um, both them um, front and uh, up and down. Tally. So if they are not tally, if there was an error in cutting, then make sure yeah, you start from the up here. Yeah. Make sure you start from up here. Yeah. So but then um, since it is tally, although you can start from anywhere, you can start from here, and then you can start from here. But I would prefer starting from the down part now. Don't forget we are showing by half. So at this point. You have to pay attention. You have to be very careful. Don't forget that uh, what you have here, so you mustn't uh, sew on this end bucket. So it's just the edge here. It's just the edge here. You have to sew. So that's the reason why you have to follow the half you are sewing with. So you just have to match it, mark um, that point. This is the point. So if you have chalk, you can just chop it. But if you have been doing it constantly, there is no need to chalk. You can just chalk in that exact point. Then here too, we have um, the point here. And just chalk it so that you will not match it on the. So that's the other one. So just pass through that piece. Then your pocket is here. You can see the traces. Of the pockets, you can see the traces so that we will not match on the pockets. You can see the traces, so just go straight, gently like that. So let's see the results. So you can see now, the result is clear. So the moment we hire on it, so we are going to have, um, we are going to see how it is going to look like. So um, here is the result.
So it was a margin this side, just close to it, and then this place, and then you can have your pocket. So you repeat the same process for the other side. So this is all we have after repeating the same process for the other parts. So the next thing is now to join both together. The next thing is now to join both together. Then how do we join? It's very simple. Make sure that then we start from where we have our um, rope notch. So this place um, it is going to be right side on the right side again. Right side against the right side. So you are going to start from where you have this notch. That is where you are going to start from, where you have this touch. That is where you are going to start from. So you are going to show by half. Don't forget, your measurement is, um, was based on half. So um, it's based on half. So you are going to store by half. So. can see the way this place was here. So you saw from here, then you leave him this piece. You leave this piece, then you continue sewing. And so that is where you are going to put your rope. So, and then don't forget, you have to top stitch. You have to top stitch it. So make sure you stretch uh, this uh, side, both. Make sure you stretch it. So that then it will not run through at the right side. You stretch it, then you control this uh, line. Then when you get to this end uh, point, here you notch, then you have to open it. You have to open it. Open it. Then you will sew on the four sides. You have to open it. Then you will sew at this side. Then you come back again. Then you open this side too and you sew it. Then you end your sewing here. So we top stitch like this. Then we come, we open this piece. We open this piece, then we come back here, we come here, we open this piece, here. then we close it up here. So this is what we have. This is what we have. You can see. This is what we have. That is where you put your rope. So when we hire on it, everything will be very nice. So this is what we have. You can see. So the next thing is now to join the back side, back side to the other side. So there is no lock here, so we don't stress ourselves. 
just show straight like that with half half inch So you have to top stitch that one too. This one too. You top stitch. While top stitching, you make sure that then you stretch this. You stretch it. done we are almost done so now if you like you can uh, fold them this place first you can fold this place first first or you can join them this side first depending on you so i'll be joining this side now down part i'll be joining it first i'll be joining this mouse so while joining it to so make sure that uh, this place adds this crotch area here, make sure both tallies the most so that the brother will balance while putting it on. So make sure this place tallies. Then you now check the mouse too. Does it tally? So check from here, then you sew from the mouse. You sew from the mouse. So my client uh, bottom is uh, said it is uh, it's it's so I'm using it. So I'm saying by half. So if I like, I can still check if my um, tie is uh, still okay. So don't forget my tie tie of my client. Or that's what my client is at 27. 27. So I will have to come down by two. I will have to come down by two from this crotch point. I'll come down by two. By two. That is where I'm going to measure my tie, which is a 27. So I should measure from that place now. I have this. So I have this 13.5. 13.5. So I'm measuring 13.5. 13.5. That is where I'm going to take my measurement. So, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this So I will start from this side too. So I will not go straight like that. It's always have issues sometimes. So I would like to start them from the other side too, from the down parts. So I will start from the down parts too. So this place is already done. So I will just straighten it up. I will just straighten it up. And I will show by how. So the next thing is now to fold the um, the roof channel. 
So I'm turning it to the right side. I prefer showing from the right side while fixing the uh, while showing that. So make sure that everything is set. Fold this. We fold this to the point where you where you notched it here. This starting point. That is where you are going to start. Then don't forget that it's two. Then make sure it is balanced or you can just iron it down first. The like you can first of all fold this piece down. And first of all fold this piece down by sewing it at the top side here. It's not necessary. You just fold by half. Don't forget during the measurement. You use a half. So it's a half. So you are folding by half now. Then you maintain that uh, half right so Take your time to do it, there won't be wrong with skill. There won't be skills in it. So pass you. So we are done with our first one. The next thing is just to iron it, give it a nice and pressing. So we'll make sure we take our time to do that. To iron it. So this is all we have. We have further already. Almost done. So this is where we put our weapon on the last So we put, put both, both group and the last So let's quickly iron it. So let's quickly see how we iron it. Why to iron? Why ironing it? Make sure that um, you open up um, all these zones. Make sure you open it up. it to the right side and iron. That is where you give a, a proper finishing now. The last and aspect of it. So why doing that? Make sure that uh, this place falls at center. The inner part here must fall at center. So make sure that um, this place, this joining side now, this joining point is at the center, must be at the center. Whether you use the general method that, uh, that is very common, or use this one, whilst ironing the inner side, this place must be at the center, not respective of the method. The same thing, go to the other side and do the same thing. The inner part will be high on first. So 
now we bring it together. So we can see. We can see our pocket now. You see how beautiful and neat it is. You can see. So the next thing is just to apply our length measurement. We apply our length measurement. So our length measurement is a thirty-seven. Is um, 37. The length measurement is um, 37. So our length measurement is 37. So we are going to apply the length measurement, which is um, 37. So we are going to apply our length measurement, which is a 37. So if you like, you can just add a um, half or quarter to it. Half or quarter because of an elastic. If you are not putting elastic, there is no need for you to add it. Half to it, but then because I'm putting elastic away, so it makes it a bit and come up a bit. So I'll be putting them half. So that is 37 and half now instead of 37. So I put this. So now, said the other time that then I'm going to trim off. In case of um, any error like this, so I'll be trimming off this. Then I'll be trimming off this. This is what I have. Then the next thing is just to fold it, make sure that it is straight. So I fold up this, and I fold up this. So let me check it. Fold it up. See, then if you like, you can apply any book at the edge here. So I'm going to weave them this um, edge. I'm going to weave it. You can see the process, but then um, the result always um, what it. So. We are done sewing, then we beat and then we are playing. So it's then just left for us the just the iron, then we put an elastic and then rope. Put a rope and elastic. So this is what we have um, after finishing. This is what we have um, in the pockets. See how neat um, it is. You see the mouth, the bottom, everything. How everything set. So this is how we make um, a group um, trouser.
So it could be one on um, Senator Wales too. So um, if you like um, this video and you think um, it has um, added value, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and then um, don't forget to subscribe if um, you have not uh, subscribed to this channel. And then um, don't forget to help us share so that it will reach the wider audience. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Till next time when we shall be coming your way, we see cheers.